I'm gonna go straight to the, the cleats. You and Miguel Rojas, tell me the story. He told me you got them for him, but he wanted to wait to wear them when you two were playing the infield together. What has it been just kind of being with him, playing with him, and having this like a shared uh, extreme bond for shoes? Uh, no, yeah, these are just uh, one of the special cleats that Adidas made me, and uh, he asked for a pair so that when we play short and second, uh, he got ahead of time and wore them a couple nights ago, got a hit. He wore a pair in Arizona that I gave him, got a hit, and today he had a really good offensive game, and uh, I think that uh, he rakes in my shoes, so. <laughs> so they're, they're going to stay, is what yeah, I'm hearing. What was uh, so impressive about Julio this afternoon? Uh, man, he was throwing every pitch for a strike. He, uh, he had really good, really good feel for, for all his pitches. Um, uh, if it wasn't for the slider that I threw to Freddie in that double play, uh, he would have only given up one run, so he was great. It's good to see him turn around a season, and uh, you know he's doing well. What we all know that Julio is capable of doing. How more advanced is he than when you were a teammate of his a few years back? I mean, I guess we could say he's more advanced, or or not. I mean, he's the guy that when it was time to it was, when time was getting real, we gave him the ball. He closed out the NLCS and he closed out the World Series. So. I don't know how much more advanced he can be from that, but uh, you know he's, uh, he's he's put it all together and he's uh, he's he can be a, an ace in any rotation right now. You guys are playing so well right now. You've kind of blown the division open with 45 left. You're going to have some kind of I hate to say meaningless games in September, but that's where this is headed. How will this team stay sharp and be ready for the postseason? I know you weren't here last year, unlike what happened last year. Though. Um, like you said, I wasn't here last year, so I don't really know what happened last year. But uh, from my experience in years past, um, it's just staying, staying locked in, staying focused on, on what the what the objective is, what the goal is, which is to win the World Series. And um, you know, for for the meantime, every game is meaningful because uh, we can't say they're m not meaningful till you know we, we we've clinched. But we've also won a. Uh, get home field advantage. I know the, the Braves are a couple games better than us right now, and uh, we're just going to try and, and win as many games as we can, not only to win the division, but to try and see if we can we can clinch home field advantage. I know you. I heard you said that uh, you didn't follow this team too closely when you were in Boston, but now that you're here, I mean, how good is it? Is it beyond expectation? What do you think of this team? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really good. Um, I uh, in 2020 we won the World Series, and I thought that after I left, the team got even better. Uh, with some of the additions that they they brought in, and uh, this year, like like I said, I didn't know much about it because being on the East Coast, it's kind of tough to follow uh, West Coast teams. And um, we're we're a very complete team. If, if that answers the question, we're just we can we can beat you on, on offense, on defense, with pitching, uh, one through nine in the lineup, and uh, we're never too out, too too far away from a game. Uh, and you know, we, we we even do the little things, which is not not every good team does, and that's that's what it takes to win when when the games matter the most. And uh, right now we're playing great baseball, so hopefully we can keep rolling and, and keep staying hot till till October.